Dang it. Okay. Homeward Bound is one of those movies that sounds like a great idea on paper and then ends up being even better when you make it into a movie. So if you haven't seen it, basically two dogs and a cat get lost when they run away from a ranch that they're staying at and they have to find their way home. I guess their owner or like the kids that own their owner moves. This movie's so much more complicated than I remember. So here's the whole thing in a really small font. Okay. Anyway, this movie is about two dogs and a cat and there's a scene where a cat falls off a waterfall. Let's check that out. Now I'm no expert, but that seems like quite the fall for a tiny little kitty cat. Look, I love this movie. Fun fact, one time I put this movie on at a party and I watched the whole thing instead of talking to anyone. So to be fair, there's about a million things that are wrong with this movie. Did you guys know dogs and cats can't even talk? But this scene stands out as the proverbial shark jump of the whole movie. So Sassy, which is the cat's name, she goes over this waterfall and, spoiler alert, she survives. Somehow, I don't think that this is actually what would happen in real life. So let's break this whole thing down using, let's see. Science. It's actually pretty simple. We'll just take the 45 feet of the waterfall, divide that by the nine lives, you get 25.3, move that down, carry the meow. Come down here, you're gonna see a little cute cat face, but unfortunately, the results are in and that is a dead cat. You can tell by the X's over the eyes. And folks, these kind of numbers don't lie. Fun fact, when I was a little baby boy, I called this movie Two Roo Roos and a Meow Meow. Uh, baby Genius is called, they want their Baby Genius back. Seriously though, look at this article from the New York Times in 1989. Guys, serious warning though, things are gonna get pretty sad for about 45 seconds. So anyway, the scientists measured how far different cats fell out of windows and what the resulting injuries were. They recorded data from 132 different cat window incidents uh, across Manhattan. Out of 132 cats, only eight of them actually died on impact. But factor in the fact that Sassy is out in the mountains with no one to give her any medical attention, plus she's landing in a bunch of churning rapids. Guys, I hate to say it, I think we got a dead cat on our hands. Ooh. All right, here is a picture of a baby otter to make us all feel a little bit better about our furry friends. But why should we trust numbers, okay? I wanna go to the source. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna leave this void that we're in, and we're gonna go talk to an expert. Or should I say an expert? Hello and welcome. Today we're talking with local Brooklyn kitty cat French Fry about waterfalls and the dangers they present to cats all across this great nation of ours. French Fry, thank you for joining us. Now, right off the bat, what is exactly your experience with waterfalls? Hmm. Mm hmm. You were recorded saying, cats rule, dogs drool. Do you stand by this statement? Interesting. Well, French Fry, thank you for joining us. And we'll see you back in the studio right now. Well, I should have assumed that wasn't gonna work because as we all know, cats can't talk. <laughs> Which I knew, be yeah, I know that. Folks, we're gonna have to put this thing to the test in the real world. We're gonna throw a cat off a waterfall. Well, this isn't the Sierra Nevadas, but I tell you what, it's pretty darn close. You can just smell tree. We're gonna take my little buddy here, who's all hooked up to all kinds of science equipment and a camera on his back. Uh, hey buddy. So we're gonna take him, throw him off this waterfall and see if he survives or if he's crushed to death by the churning currents. So let's find out. Let's 
it's okay, it's all good. I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. It's okay. 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 Guys. This is a stuffed cat. This is a fake cat. I don't know, guys. Uh, yeah, homeward bound. More like turn around from driving to the movie theater. <laughs>